In this video, we're going to talk about tickets. A ticket is created automatically in the software when you check a client into the salon, and the ticket will be closed once you receive payment from that client. There are a couple different ways that you can open up a client's ticket. The first one is just by clicking their appointment and then clicking the Show Ticket button. That will take you to their open ticket. The other way that you can see all of the open and closed tickets is simply by going to the navigation bar and clicking the Tickets button up here. This will show you all of the open and closed tickets for the day in the salon. And if you want to open up any of these clients' tickets, you can just click on their name. From within inside the client's ticket, there are many things that we can do before we collect payment from the client. If we need to add a service or a product, we just click on the green button. I want to take a minute and show you what each one of these buttons down here does within the ticket window. First, if we click the Attach Ticket button, it is going to allow you to attach any one of the open tickets within the salon to this ticket. So let's just say Harmony is Francisca's daughter and Francisca wants to pay for Harmony's service today. All you have to do is just click the plus button here and that is going to add Harmony to Francisca's ticket. You'll notice that Harmony's ticket has now been attached to Francisca's ticket and the total has increased to reflect that. Now I'm going to go back to the tickets window and we're going to click on Rachel. Now let's say Rachel's microdermabrasion has been completed and she realized that she forgot her wallet. But she wants to come in tomorrow to pay and that's okay with the salon, so we click the Move Ticket button. We can either click on the calendar and choose the date that we want her to come in to pay, or we can just move the ticket to tomorrow and click Save. And that will move Rachel's ticket to tomorrow. When we click the Tickets button, you'll notice that Rachel's no longer in the open tickets for today. Now let's go back into Francisca's ticket. From the open ticket window, we can have all of our client's information right at our fingertips. We can click the client log button and that will show you all of the client's history, anything else you want to know about the client by clicking any one of these tabs including their future appointments. We can click the appointment log button and that will show you all of the information concerning this appointment today. It will show you when the appointment was scheduled, when it was confirmed, when they were checked in, and eventually when the client has paid and they've been checked out. If you want to pre-book your client's next appointment, just click the pre-book button. Automatically, the same services that were performed today will appear, but you can always change those by just clicking the drop-down button and selecting a different service. But let's say Francisca is going to get her full foil and haircut done, and she just wants to pre-book that same appointment. We'll just click Search Calendar, and let's just look at May 7th. All of the appointments that would be available in this time are right here, and Francisca wants to take this appointment for full foil and haircut starting at 8.30. We're going to click the Book Now button, and that has scheduled it. We click the Schedule button, and she has now been pre-booked, as simple as that. It takes us back to Francisca's open appointment, where we can collect her payment for today's service. The Collect Payment screen allows us to process the client's payment using cash, check, or card. If you're using RosiePay, the software interacts directly with the credit card terminal, so there's no need to manually input what type of credit card would be used. It'll know automatically once you swipe the card. If the client wants to add a tip, you'll click the Add Tip button before you receive payment or swipe the card. She's going to give Jane a $25 tip, and for the haircut, she's going to give Frank a $15 tip. Both of those tips have been added. Click Close. It adds the tip amount to the ticket, and Francisca is going to pay in cash. We'll just click Cash and click Finish. A window pops up that allows us to either email or print the receipt for the client. For the purposes of this, I'm just going to click Neither. And now you'll notice that Francisca and Harmony's ticket have been moved to the Closed Ticket window.